So hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in Daisy content, i.e. tips and guides, how to mod servers, etc. Also just general Daisy gameplay, then hit the subscribe button and obviously not to miss out on anything. So what we're going to be looking at today is crafting items. Now these items are going to be basic items that you can craft in. I'm going to show you what they do, what you need them for, and how they can help you. Especially, obviously, this game's based around survival. That's what we're going to be basing our crafting ideas around. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to craft a stone knife, what that stone knife can then be used for, i.e. getting logs, bushes, sticks, etc. Uh, getting animals for food. I'm then going to show you how to create a rope. Obviously, I'm going to show you then what that rope can be used for. Now, there's two ways of creating a rope. So I'm going to show you both ways, and I'm going to show you then what we're going to use that rope for. I'm going to show you how to create the fire, and more importantly, how to start the fire without any matches or a lighter. So we're going to be using a handheld drill kit. I'm also going to show you how to make it, what, what, it, what that entails, and obviously then how you can go about just using the basic things that I'm going to show you today to getting food in the server. I'm going to show you how to create a backpack using three sticks and a burlap sack. So yeah, these are just the simple guides. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good tutorial if you're new to the game, and obviously if you're starting off fresh and that you haven't got a great deal of things on you. Now I am playing on a live server. I'm playing on a PvP server, so I've come somewhere out of the way. Okay, so we can ignore the stuff I've got on me. I have left some stuff out of it just in case. We, this is the bit we're going to use. Now I found these two bits of items, and we are going to use these to create some rags. Rags are going to be one way that we can create a rope. So I'm also going to show you where we can get some of these items from. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you know, and you want to learn a few more hints and tips and stuff, watch the rest of the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. So the reason I've started off in the middle of nowhere, number one, I'm on a PvP server, so I want to be a bit out of the way. But num number two, and this is the more important reason, I need to be on a track like this. Because what we're looking for is two stones. Now you you're not going to find two stones on the main road, you're going to need a track like this. So we're just going to run up this track, and you can see a stone straight away there. We're just going to keep that on us, and I'm going to be honest, these stones do tend to just pop up every so often. And there's another one there, perfect. So we've already got our two stones, so after these two stones we're going to create a knife. I thought that was another one then. They do sort of pop up quite regular, especially on these sort of tracks. You're not going to find them on the main road. And look, there you go, there's another one there. So they do pop up quite regular, okay? So what we're going to do then, to create a stone knife, you want to take one into your hand. You want to drag the other one in, and you've got the combine option. And then you are just going to hold down the left mouse button and say craft stone knife. So we're going to wait for that to craft. And then that's going to give us a stone knife. Now I will say, these stone knives, okay, they aren't the most durable. They will run out of wear pretty quickly, but they will get the job done. So we've still got a stone there, a small stone, and we've got now a small our stone knife. So I'm just going to grab the other stone as well, just as it's there, just to stop it running out, okay? So, to create rope, what you're going to need is six rags. So to find rags, you find own clothing. Now old clothing spawn anywhere. Okay, and as you can see already, I'm hovering over them and they're saying create craft rags. So old clothing spawns in pretty much any building you get uh, old clothing in, whether it's denim skirts, as we got your t-shirts, military gear, whatever. But you'll get them in any building. So once you've got them, you want to create rags, okay? Now, I'm going to use some of my rags just for this, because obviously this is just a demonstration. So out of what we've cut up there, we've gained four rags, okay? So we're going to need 12. Now for that, obviously, if you needed 12 rags, you would need to have to go looking for more clothing. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some rags to us. Have I got 12? Okay, so we've got our 12 rags, okay? So like I said, we get them from clothing. Now, you go into any house in DayZ, I reckon within about three or four houses, you will find some sort of clothing or some sort of ski mask or something that you can cut up and use rags for. They're not always going to be pristine. They might be worn or damaged does not matter you can still cut these and make them into rags and they will still form a pristine rope so to create a rope now okay we're going to drag a six rags into our hand and then we're going to pull the other six in okay and as you can see on the on the screen now it says craft rope it's just literally hold down the left mouse button and we're going to craft that rope and then i'm going to show you then obviously what we can use this rope for and the benefits going forward so we've got a rope now, what we're going to need so far, so so far they've been quite easily things to find, okay? They're quite, you know, right, like I said, shirts and clothing you can get from pretty much any house in Daisy. They, they, they'll have some sort of clothing there. And the stones, again, look, we've just run up this path, we found another one. So, uh, you can see pretty much from this, is that another one? There's another one. They are, they're all over the place on these sort of tracks. What we're going to need now is a burlap sack. Now, this is something that we're going to have to go looking for. 
So the place to look for these is, is sheds, outhouse buildings, garages, because we're going to need to create one of them uh, one of them sacks into a backpack, a small backpack. Now, assuming that we haven't got this backpack at the moment, okay, we, we're in basic survival mode. We haven't got a backpack. We need something now that we're going to store our meat in. We've got a knife as well, a stone knife there, which can cut up some animals so we can get our meat. And then we can get a fire going as well, just using these items, okay? So we're gonna go look for we're gonna go looking now for a sack. And like I said, you've just gotta check the sheds until you come across them. It's a it's a bit of one of them things, but they do spawn quite often. And boom, we've got a sack. And a tire iron, which we don't need. Okay, so we've got a sack. Okay, that didn't take long. A couple of sheds, couple a decent run. As you can see, we're still on the country roads. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna place that to one side, we're gonna get our rope. Now we can, we're going to combine our rope with our sack and it's going to give, an, a, give us an option of create a courier bag. So we're going to create the courier bag first. So this is going to give us, um, I think it's a 30 slot backpack. So it's not massive, but it'll do if you haven't got any other backpack and it's a good thing for extra storage just by using limited equipment. So that comes with 30, okay? Now if you want to increase that, so you want something a bit bigger, what we're going to need to do is go to a bush and we're just going to need to cut some sticks. Now what we're going to need is three sticks. If I get more to this bush it doesn't matter. So I've got one long one. So we're just going to snap this in half. And I think this is going to give us two sticks. And we're going to need another one. But that's not a problem. One thing when you're starting off. Whenever you use something. Especially if you're on a server. Either vanilla or my servers. I make sure there's no traders on them. Oh, I'll give us three. So that's perfect. Yeah, so I don't. I make sure there's no ser um, traders on my servers because I like the hunting. I like the looking for things. I don't just like running back and forth northwest airfield, back and forth to a trader selling hundred rubles worth of stuff and then just buying everything you need. And there's another stone there. So yeah. Anyway, what I was going to say is everything that you're going to need. Make sure that you use it and that you keep it. If you've got sticks and you've got room, just keep them on you because then they will come in handy for a fire. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create this. Now, watch, if you can see up here, okay, it says 30. So it's a courier bag with 30. Just by combining the sticks, the three sticks, we are now going to make a backpack. Now, I believe this backpack takes us to 42, so it adds an extra 12. It's either 42 or 48. I'm pretty sure it's 42. Yeah, so 42. So we've got an extra 12, okay? But just to show you what this looks like on your, on your bag, on your back, sorry. Okay, it's a decent backpack, especially if you're in a p you know in the server we're in. It doesn't stick out as much as my other backpack did. Granted, it doesn't hold the same. I mean, my other backpack there is badly damaged. I can probably get fixing that or going to find a new one. But um, yeah, it's a decent backpack and it can store things for you. So that's the advantage of that's why we need the rope, and obviously that's why we need the rags to obviously create the rope and then the sticks and the knife etc you can see now how everything's sort of starting to slot together a little bit so we're just going to store this in a backpack so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do a little bit of hunting i want to go and try and get an animal i want to go and try and get a deer or something and i'm, I'm going to show you then how to use the knife obviously to gut etc to get the meat to get the meat and then i'm going to show you how to cook a fire with just using these materials here okay no light there's no matches just what we've got there okay so let's go looking for a deer. This could be interesting. Well, we haven't come across a deer, but we have come across, and it's going to do the same thing as a cow. Okay, so that's going to get us this meat, right? And then I'm going to show you then, like, like I said, how to use the knife now, what we're going to do with it. So we've got our cow. Our animal, like I said, you could use deer, wolf, anything really. And then we're going to use a knife to gut it. And then I'm going to show you how to light the fire and how to cook it as well. So we're going to skin and quarter the cow. And again, this is using the stone knife that we picked up. So, so far we haven't used anything really that we've found. This is all done with things that we've picked up from the ground. Okay, you can see the amount of stuff that's come off the cow. We're not going to take all of it. For this purpose, I'm just going to take two steaks just to show you. So I've got my two steaks. We are then going to find the closest building. One thing I would say before I go, actually, this is the other way to create rope, okay? If you see the guts there, you can either create the hook or using the guts, you can create a rope. So if you craft a rope using your knife, you need a knife in your hand, hover over the guts, and that is the second way of getting a rope. So you can either do it by using the... The rags or by using obviously the the guts and there you are pristine rope just by using guts 
and your stone knife that we made with two stones. Going on to the pelt, as you can see the pelt there, okay, there's nothing we can do with this pelt. We can either take it or leave it, it's pretty much it. If, however, this wasn't a cow and it was a wolf or bear, what, what would happen then? You get the option then of, of creating a cowl. Now what that does, instead of, ha instead of having this, my giddy poncho, what I could do is place, place the cowl over me. That would then give me, um, I think it's like one of the maximum insulation things you can have. So if you're on a cold server, like my winter server, if anybody's seen my old videos, if you're on my winter server, you can then go and obviously that would help keep you keep your heat, to keep you warm, etc. So I've set the marker for this building, I knew it wasn't too far away. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into this building and we're going to create a fire. I'm going to create a fire, a fire kit, a handheld kit, sorry for lighting a fire. And obviously I'm going to show you how to get wood, etc. just by using the equipment that we got. So we've got our stone knife. What we're going to need first, okay, we're going to need two bits of bark. Now both, what we're going to need two for, we're going to need one for the handheld drill kit. And we're going to need one for kindling for the fire, okay. So we're just going to get that. Okay, so you can see we've got our two bits of bark. Now we're going to go to a small tree somewhere and chop a tree down and try and get a bit of firewood. Some of the small trees you can, no, that's the same cut bark. Some of the small trees you can chop down and they will give you a bit of firewood along with the sticks. And that is one of them, perfect. So you can see with the stone it's already gone badly damaged. But like I said, you know, I know it's saying body damage, but you've seen, even running up that path there, we must have passed about five or six stones. So we've got our sticks for our fire, we've got our wood, we're just going to chuck them in our backpack, and perfect, so we're going to go into this house. Now you can't craft the fireplace inside anymore, you have to use the fireplace, obviously, that comes in the house. The way to do this is quite simple, you can either, you've got two options, you can either drag them into the selected slots, or you can take them into your hand and it'll just say attach or it will say place if it's a bit of meat. We're going to split these because I only want I want one and one. So one's gone there. So we're going to add that for kindling. Okay. And what, what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to take this back because I'm going to need them for actually creating the drill kit. So we're just going to create the drill quite quickly. So I need the sticks and the bark. Now it's going to give us two options. The first option you can see is craft fireplace. If you click once on the left mouse button, it's got um, create a hand drill kit. So, or craft, sorry. So that's what we're going to craft now. Okay, and then we're going to see then, obviously we've got bark in the, we've got bark in there. We've got another two sticks left over. So I'm going to stick them two, two sticks in the fire. So attach them. We're going to go back to our hand drill kit. And then see, if you see there, look, it says ignite. So we're just going to get this fire lit. And all this has been done, like I said, without finding matches, without finding a light, though, without finding anything. So people struggling maybe on cold servers. Hopefully this will give you now a better way of obviously getting yourself off up and running quickly. We take our meat in our hand. Now there are two ways to cook since the new update. You've got smoking or cooking. I suggest always using cooking because it is the fastest way. I mean, you can almost cook three times quicker than smoking is. And smoking dries it out as well. So I always suggest cooking. The other thing I'm going to add since the new update is you can see the meat at the moment is pristine. These will go off, they will not last forever. Now raw meat goes off quicker than cooked meat, so I suggest as soon as you get meat, cook it straight away, or within probably an hour of real life time, get that meat cooked. Once it's cooked, it will then, it can then, keep, obviously once it's cooked you can then keep it on your person. Now going back to Daisy before that meat would stay at 100 degrees and you know it just stay hot 100 degrees it wouldn't go it wouldn't cool down and then that would just keep you warm forever it would also keep fresh forever that isn't the case okay you can see it's come off the stove it's already about 90 degrees now this will keep you warm for a time being but it will go cold and it will also go off these don't they, they don't they do not have a long shelf life like I said, I don't know the exact time scale to be honest. Somebody did drop it on my Discord the other day, the exact time scale up, but um, I can't remember. But I can find that out for you if anybody wants to know. Drop it in the comments and I'll have a look. But yeah, you do need to eat them. So as you can see, it's already dropped to 90, and that will just get obviously get just get cooler and cooler and cooler. Even though it goes obviously cool, you can still eat it. It will stay. It will still stay pristine for a while. It'll just go cold. And our other steak is done. 
So, so far what I've shown you is how to craft a hand drill kit and how to use the fire. How to build the fire out of it. How to create a stone knife. Obviously then what that knife can be used for. As in getting animals, getting food, general getting sticks, etc. It can also be used as a melee weapon, although I wouldn't suggest it. I would look for something else. We've talked about a rope. You can get rope from 12 rags combined. Or you can also get it from animal guts as long as you've got a knife in your hand. We've been through obviously where you where to pick up the stones. Again, if we run up here, there'll be more up here now. They probably would have been spawned in. I've been I've been more than 100 meters away or wherever, so they might have spawned back in. But if they haven't, you know, like from before, we just need to run further up the road a bit, and they are readily available for you. So that's everything I've covered for you today: basic survival skills, how to get a knife, how to get meat, how to get rope, etc. Rags, and also with rags, obviously you don't just need them for rope; you also need them when you're bleeding. You also use a rag to, and there's another stone. You also use a rag to obviously stop yourself from bleeding. So rags are also multi-purpose. You can use them for a number of things, okay? But hopefully if this video has helped you, especially if you're new to Daisy and starting out, and maybe you're on a server, either vanilla, or one without a modded, one without a trader, and obviously then that can help you out. For argument's sake, if this bag gets ruined, and I take this backpack off, then I'll, I'll need to go and make one of them backpacks until I can get a new one or find another one. I mean, I know I can head to a military site and pick one up, or normally you can pick one up from, from around one of the military sites, but until then I might have equipment on me. I'm on a PvP server, like I said, I've come way out of the way, so nobody should find me here, but I'm on a PvP server, so I'm going to need to carry my stuff on me. I don't really leave I don't really leave a lot of stuff at base. But anyway, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this video up there. Thanks, thanks for watching. If this has been helpful for you in any way, drop a like. If there's anything I've missed, I know a few people have made comments before in other videos that I might have missed out one or two things. Then let me know because obviously, number one, I might not know it anyway. And that will add to my skill set and obviously I'll improve my knowledge. But um, yeah, and if, if it's missed, then I, I'd like it in the comments so other people who can obviously know then that I missed it. And it obviously it won't affect their gameplay. But guys, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed. Hit the sub button if you watch it through to the end. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you again. Thank you.